Hey YouTube, welcome back to another True Fixes video. Today I'm going to be working on this third generation Xbox 360. This is the 360E and this particular console came out in 2014 and it was the last console or the last generation before being replaced by the Xbox One. Uh, everything works okay with this console except for the fact that it's pretty scratched up and dirty. As you can see that glossy finish sucks and scratches very easily. Later in the video, I try to fix that, but it turns out that I am not good at restoring plastic, so I end up putting a decal on it and it makes it look a lot better. Now, this one came with the 500 gig hard drive, removable hard drive, that's a big plus. And as I mentioned or didn't mention earlier, uh, everything works okay with this console. There are no problems with it whatsoever, except cosmetically, it's all effed up. But uh, the drive works, the, all the ports work, no issues whatsoever. So taking it apart was a whole other deal too because it was not easy to take this apart even though all the guides said that it was. But it's just, it has these plastic tabs or plastic clips that hold it in place and it's a pain in the butt. Obviously it looks easier here because I cut it down to just, you know, just the good parts. But it took me about an hour, hour and a half to take everything apart. And that was because I was trying to be careful. I was trying to be careful as to not scratch it more than it already is or break any of those tabs. So that's the only reason why it took me longer than I, than it should have. But at the end of the day, everything worked okay. Also, uh, you might notice that for the maybe the first 10 or 15 minutes, there is no audio, at least no raw audio. And that's because I was working in my workshop and my wife kept in, walk, kept in walking in and out of the workshop and making all kinds of noise. So I muted all that. And eventually it'll come in about halfway through the video uh, and, um, and it'll be nice and quiet with just the, uh, the ambient sounds. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I tried to sand that glossy finish. Uh, actually, first I tried to polish it with a uh, polishing compound, a plastic compound, and that didn't work. Uh, and then I sanded it with a, I think it was like 200 or 2000 grit sandpaper. And that kind of worked. It gave it a satin finish, but when I applied a, a clear coat on it, a polyurethane clear coat, it a lot of the scratches that were not visible started to show up. So you'll see later in the video what that looks like uh, right before I apply the decals. But at the end of the day, I went ahead and just uh, bought some decals and it looked pretty good. I think it looked pretty good afterwards. So you'll see that later, but for now, enjoy me taking this apart cleaning it and all that good stuff and uh, i'll kind of pop in every now and then to update you on anything that needs uh you know needs further explanation all right enjoy and i'll see you in a few
It was at this moment that he knew. He up. So that happened. I forgot the damn screws. It only took me about 15 minutes to put them back in, but okay, whatever. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You see those vertical lines right there? Uh, those somehow resurfaced or came through when I applied the clear coat. I sanded it down with a 2000 grit sandpaper. They almost look like stress lines or fracture lines, but they're not. Uh, I'm not sure why they came through, but this is my, my solution to that. I purchased a vinyl skin off eBay for about $13, and it's got that carbon fiber print on it, so I think that's going to be a good remedy for whatever's going on on that plastic. Um, now, my only concern with this skin is that I'll show you here in a second. Somehow, it came marked up with with like a ghost image of some of the cutouts. I think it's from the controller. I, I did not use the controller skin, by the way. I'll save that for a future project. But um, you see right there on top, you see those little circles right there, kind of the ghost, the ghosting. Uh, they match the the buttons on the controller. So I went ahead and contacted the manufacturer. They're going to send me a new a new skin, but for the sake of this video and the sake of time, I just went ahead and applied it anyway. So uh, you guys are going to have to let me know what it looks like. Uh, and here I'm going to use some alcohol to remove some of the uh, oils and fingerprints, all that stuff that uh, you know that is on the actual on the plastic itself. So that way the uh, the skin adheres properly. But that's it, man. This is going to be the end of the video. Well, not the end of the video, but the end of me talking. Uh, please let me know what you, what you think. Let me know if it looks good or not. I mean, that's the best it's going to be anyway, to be honest with you. I'm not going to mess with this anymore, other than to apply that new skin when it comes in. But this is it, man. This is going to be the final product. Uh, I'm going to add this to my collection. I don't have a 360E, so you know it will be a part of my collection and you know for testing purposes and all that stuff. But let me know in the comments if you guys think it looks good or offer any feedback you might have. I'm always open to, to any feedback. Uh, please make sure to like if you enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, and by the way, I went ahead and used a hot air station to uh, kind of uh, on, those, on that raised logo there to kind of bring it out a little more. And you, I'll, I'm also going to use it on the on the faceplate for the optical drive where it says Xbox 360 or something like that. And you'll see it in the video. But um, that's going to be it, guys uh, and gals. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.
Thank you.